Hello and welcome to the latest in Redwood's SAP focused podcast series, where we're looking at some of the technical issues and challenges around finance processes. In this series, we'll be talking to various SAP experts and those on the front line. I'm Andy McHugh, writer and editor, and I'm joined today by finance transformation expert Adrian Lee, who has more than 20 years' experience in the design, build, and running of SAP ERP systems. Welcome, Adrian. Um, thanks for joining us today. Hi, Andy. In this episode, we'll be talking about managing dependencies within SAP. That's essentially ensuring all the individual activities for a process are performed in the right order and the problems that can arise if they're not. Um, Adrian, uh, I guess the first question would be, um, what kind of dependencies are we talking about um, in SAP around finance processes? So I'll, I'll just give a few examples to kind of set the scene. So the first one is around uh, reconciliation. So um, if you don't close the accounting periods before you start to do things like intercompany or bank or balance sheet reconciliations, there's always a risk that further transactions are going to be recorded. So you haven't got a firm foundation there to uh, to do the reconciliation. So um, the reconciliation process is dependent on the periods being closed effectively. Uh, another one is if you don't update the asset register and, and close that down before you run depreciation, your depreciation figures are going to be inaccurate. Uh, and another example is if you've got multi-level allocations where you allocate from, from one area to another and then from that area, say, to products or customers, if you don't do the allocation in the right sequence, again, you're going to get the wrong results and the wrong answers at the end, which can be very dangerous for a business. Uh -huh. And organizations have obviously invested huge amounts in ERP systems, SAP particularly, um, and it does a lot of uh, vital things. But why is it such a challenge to manage some of these dependencies around finance processes in SAP? Yeah, so there is a lack of, of kind of capabilities, robust capabilities in SAP to really manage the execution of these dependencies between tasks. Um, and that's really evidenced by the widespread use of third party tools and add-ons to, to bring this capability to the, the technology stack, if you like. And let's remember, of course, that SAP was initially conceived as a system that allowed people to record and analyze transactions manually. So it's it's kind of understandable that it relies on people to manage those dependencies as well. And then, so in terms of tackling this, I mean, what are some of the ways that, that, that Pete, you know, you've obviously worked in SAP uh, for 20 years, you know this this intimately. What, what are some of the ways that people try to deal with this and work around them today? I think the most common example that people uh, listening to the podcast will be able to relate to is the use of uh, Excel spreadsheets, particularly in finance to manage the execution of tasks and activities. Um, and one specific example of that is the month end uh, checklist. Um, so the list of tasks that need to be performed to, in order to close the books for, for each of the companies within the system. Um, and that typically, uh, and, and still to this day, uh, largely is, is, is sat within Excel spreadsheets. Now SAP have added some capability here through their closing cockpit, for example, and our third party solutions as well. But, but none of these really tackle the, the true end-to-end -end management and, and in particular automation um, of the, uh, the management of the dependencies uh, between tasks. And what then are the consequences, uh, we alluded to this, of when things aren't done in the order that they're supposed to be done? Uh, you know, for example, across a, uh, a financial close. Yeah, I'll, I'll kind of call out two, two issues and challenges, really. There are many, but the, these are some of the, the, the key ones. Uh, the first one is that uh, once you've discovered that something's been done out of sequence, so something that's dependent on another task hasn't been done in the right sequence, there, there, is, a, there is a rework um, aspect there. So there's more effort, uh, particularly at month end, at a time that's challenged, at a time challenged anyway, um, so re rework is required. So that's one, one consequence of not doing things in the right sequence. The other consequence is that you will get spurious data and uh, results from, from a process, which, which is even more troublesome really, because if somebody's making uh, decisions based on that data, they're potentially making incorrect or invalid decisions because the data they're basing that decision on is, is not correct. Um, so they're two of the key consequences of, um, if you like, tasks being performed out of sequence, uh, where there are dependencies. 
So that's pretty significant, isn't it? I mean, it's not only just just more effort and, and whatnot, but the potential impacts, knock on on, um, you know, the, the actual reporting deadlines and, and things like that, and getting the figures to, to 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 the group for consolidation and whatnot. So, what's a better way to um, to tackle this? Obviously, you've got to work with SAP, but what's a better way to to make sure that the things are done in the right order, in the right sequence, and and get it right first time? Yeah. So I I, I think. Um and again, we, we've kind of covered some of these elements before, but I, I, I think the main thing is that you need a, a sort of an overarching end-to-end task management capability, uh, which you know brings some level of automation of both the management of those dependencies, but also in an ideal world, the execution of some of those tasks as well. Um, and by having that technology that's managing those dependencies, it's you're less dependent on humans to 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 get the sequencing right and let you know let's not forget that a lot of sap users are global businesses with users and um and, and staff throughout the globe in different time zones different languages and so on so actually manually coordinating a lot of this work is a problem whereas technology takes away that burden and really uh, gets rid of those those human errors in in the process, but it also gets rid of latency as well. Because if you're manually managing dependencies um, and and you're next in line to to do a task that that somebody else needs to complete theirs first on, um, you're waiting on them to let you to to tell you that they finish before you can start your task. So um, you know that latency, that lag between task A and task B, is also eliminated by this technology that manages those dependencies as well. Great, thank you, Adrian, for your insight for that deep dive into um, SAP and managing dependencies. Um, please do listen out for other episodes in this series and, and other areas of finance and SAP. And to find out more about this topic and finance automation in general, go to redwood.com or go to our YouTube channel at Redwood Software UK Limited.